Jake Plummer's remarks to 104.3 The Fan relative to one Drew Locke. And I think the biggest thing, aside from the fact that he is still a believer in Drew Locke, and he was glad the Broncos passed on Justin Fields, was that he said a little something, Zach, that kind of questioned fans who are not supporting him. And real quick, I just want to read this and then serve it over to you. Quote, I think bringing in a quarterback at this point with Drew here already, the fans were mad, but why? They could be mad again when Justin Fields takes two years to be a good quarterback and they get two more years of development to try to get to the big game. I still believe Drew Locke has it. I still believe that if you really want to be a true Bronco fan, you buy into the guys that are here now and you try to send them the love that they need and deserve as your guy. Close quotes that. You know, surprisingly, I don't have much to add on this topic because this is the one time Jake Plummer and I share something in common, and that's, you know, not really calling out Broncos fans, but kind of sending a rallying cry to Broncos country to support the quarterback that's under center right now. And under center right now, barring any trade for Aaron Rodgers or a surprise Teddy Bridgewater victory, is Drew Locke. I will say one thing I've noticed, though. The people who always take umbrage with uh, defining a fan, they always will come back and define a fan. So let's say someone said, oh, Jake Plummer doesn't have a right to say what a true fan is. A true fan is blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's very hypocritical from that side who doesn't want to hear anything supporting Drew Locke. And I happen to agree with what Jake Plummer is saying here. But no one wants to be that blunt with a rabid emotional fan base. Because what does fan stand for, Chad? It's fanatic. And that's what Broncos country is. It's the best fan base, as far as I'm concerned, on the face of the earth. But w- when it comes to Locke, there is something wrong. There's a disconnect there. And now even, I wouldn't call them legendary, but very notable Broncos or former Broncos are noticing that, Chad. It's not just me and you. It's not just the somewhat of the media. There's other people out there noticing the derangement. I I don't know another word for it when it comes to Drew Locke. 